All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another community breakdown. If you're new here, my name is Christian Clay, and we do these types of breakdowns for people just like you. Um, I'm with my partner, Corey Hamilton, here, and he's our Tampa expert, a.k.a. the Wesley Chapel King himself. And, um, you know, what you're going to get with this YouTube channel here is as much information as you could possibly receive right like this isn't the sexy real estate channel but um you know we're going to give you the driving tour so you can see the good the bad the ugly about some of these communities that you're considering we'll give you a drone tour and um a, a home walkthrough and we're going to try to break it down and go over all of the numbers so with that being said welcome on mr Corey hamilton <laughs> what's up man how you doing buddy Come on, man. I miss, I miss like... doing these. Like, I, miss, I, miss, I miss these lives at fives. I get excited for them every time. So, well, you, you know, you, I told you, I always live vicariously through my buyers. I'm always excited to do this. So when you skip on me, it's like, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm ready to do these. I'm excited about it. And we got a, I got a lot of stuff lined up for everyone coming forward. Well, we're excited. Let's uh, tell everybody where we're at, because this is definitely a builder that we do quite a bit of business with. So we're very familiar with, um, you know, the pros and cons that they have. But tell everybody where we're at. Just like you said, we uh, do a lot of business with uh, this builder. And um, we this community is a unique one that we haven't really been in yet. It's only 330 home sites in Lando Lakes, Florida. People are probably like, where is Lando Lakes? It's uh, near Wesley Chapel. Lutz, you always do this to me every I'm time. Like, <laughs> right on, I'm like, right on par. Go, DJ. That's my DJ. Go, DJ. Yeah. Uh, oh, DJ. So, yeah, look, exactly. he, here's so, Tampa, right? Mm -hmm. Here is Wesley Chapel. This is like your your castle, your area that you kind of. I mean, you you've mastered the entire Tampa area. Here's San Antonio. Yep. So this is kind of North Wesley Chapel, and this is where we're at over here today. Try to see if I can zoom yep. in a little bit. Exactly. So the location of Lando Lakes is awesome to get in the Tampa. This community in particular is right off of State Road 41, like you can kind of see right now, which leads into State 41 becomes Dale Mabry Highway which is like one of the major arteries leading right through Tampa. There you go. Perfect. So it's like this location, you can hop off, you know, your community and get right into the city, right to the airport, right to the Buccaneer Stadium or to if you're good looking at, you know, baseball, you got, we got the Yankee Stadium across the street for their spring training. But it's a major artery that you're living just off of, but it also has this kind of quaint feel that you move off the you move off the major artery and you're right into this 330 home community gated all alone by yourself yeah so hard to find this in the location that it's in right because we're seeing a lot of these newer developments happening a little further out right like where there is the land and then like right off the major artery like you're talking about you see this community pop you're like how did they do that how did they do that so you know if you're somebody that needs to be around the things to do perfect location especially for new construction exactly and we talk about wesley chapel a lot but this is uh 10 minutes i would say from the outlets in wesley chapel and the shopping and the dining and then uh, amongst all of that and uh, artery 41 you're going across the state road 56 or state road 54 which is going to give you shopping dining restaurants gym locations there's everything going on in this location and people are really asking us more about how do you feel about Lando Lake? So we ended up working in here with a client recently that wanted to be in this community and it's so close to everything that you need that it's kind of like the Wesley Chapel feel. Exactly. 100%. Hey, so for all my people out there that want to get to know who you are, obviously Core is one of the agents on my team here, but you're a gym guy. Uh, yes. Every morning. Yeah, what kind of what kind of workouts do you do? Are you like a meathead, like bodybuilder guy, or more of a, a kind of a, um, a, aerobic? Well, I, it might look like on camera that I'm huge because I look pretty swole, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm a five seven and I played soccer my whole life, so I'm more of a cardio person. Ah. And getting the blood, getting the blood pumping, getting your heart working. The heart is the biggest, the best muscle you need to work out, so you gotta always hit that cardio. That's right. Got to do your heart ups, people. All right, so talk to us about the fees, right? Let's get to the, the things that the people always 
write us about like, what are the fees here? How much is it gonna cost me? You call this affordable? Let's get to it. So glad you brought that up because we just had this conversation with one of our clients that's going to buy a home with us very soon, maybe sooner than they even expected. But um, the fees are always, fees, 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 fees. We always talk about the number breakdown. So this is a client that they're like, we don't want that CDD fee. What is a CDD fee? Most people ask that initially. The Community Development District. They're going to pay for the, the builder of this whole community, pays a bond to buy the land, put in the infrastructure, the roads, the street lights, the plumbing, the underground sewage. Everything is built by the builder, and you pay that bond back over like a 30-year period. We like to always recommend to our clients that don't plan on it being 30 years just plan on paying it forever. Exactly. If it's gone, and if it, cherry if, on top. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it falls off, then great. But um, they can, in communities like this, they can always add on things so they can continue to pay for it, you know. But just as long as you're comfortable with your payment, then that's the most important thing. If it falls off, like you said, cherry on top. But the, this community has an HOA and a CDD, $107 for the HOA, 160 for the CDD. But this is also something I like to talk to our clients about. They're like, we don't want to see the, well, this community has a $12 HOA a month. But I'm um, not saying this one in particular, this is per example. A low HOA per month and a CDD fee, but you might go into another community with no CDD fee and the HOA is higher than both. Yeah. So some so people come in eliminate. and they're like, I don't want CDD fees. Ooh, what's that community over there? There's no CDD, but the HOA alone is more than the CDD and HOA in the other community, right? Like you get so tied up in this, no CDD. Thank you. That's exactly what I said. So perfect. I'm glad you said that. It's just, it, that's exactly what it is. We have to just look at the numbers and the breakdown of which the fees are and what you get in the community, what you want to have for your family. And then we can kind of, you know, progress from there. You know, how many times I feel like I, I, I've said this a lot, right? Have we, somebody wanted a particular community, right? That's like a very popular community. And then, you know, they see the payment that's monthly and they're like, what? And the price points are here. And then we take them to another community. It may even have higher price points and we can get the payment lower, you know? And that's kind of how it goes. It's like, it, uh, it depends on your CDD, HOA, the taxes, what they're offering you is an interest rate. We, but we are the people that break down those numbers for you because every home is beautiful and you can love any home under the sun. Mm -hmm. However, you know, it has to work for you, your family, location, price point, mortgage rate, what you have to put down to get into the home. And we're the experts on that. We're, we'll make sure that the numbers look right for you and we break them down and make you understand them better before we get into these communities. But we don't like to eliminate options by saying no CDD. Let's look yeah. at what it costs. Let's see yeah. what the mortgage breakdown is in that community. Let's see what the interest rate breakdown is in that community. Let's put it all together. And this community might actually be more affordable than the one you wanted to be in or you thought there was no CDD there and that would be better. Well, let's look at the breakdown. There's no telling, right? So I'm looking at an amenity center over here. Yeah, they have a beautiful amenity center. Great yeah. pool. There's a couple of parks in the community. They have a walking trail that goes around the entire backside of it. And what I love about this community is that it is its own little home. You can see from the visuals that it's kind of wrapped in trees and there's property around it already established. So like yeah. this is what it is. And there's private schools in the area. There's great, the schools are all B plus and A rated in the area from K through 12. And that's kind of what's driven people to the Lando Lakes area of Florida is nature, ponds, water, in school districts, shopping, amenities, this is a hot spot and on fire right now in Tampa. Yep. Without being too far, right? Like that this is that all of that that hybrid, so to speak, where everybody's just like, I want this, 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 this. And you package it all up and you're like, Okay, this is a, a great area for you. And you want new, right? New construction. And and you want new as well. So we will say is we that say whoa. That whoa. <laughs> this is the first on the channel. He's getting a, he, the drone's getting attacked by a bird here. Let's check this thing out. So I, Christian, I made sure, and my girlfriend told me when she saw it, I got attacked by that bird, and she's like, "Leave that in the video." No, that was intentional. I, I there was you should have seen the drone footage after that cut out. That bird chased me, and I was running from it. I, I 
yeah, I don't know. I just wanted I'm... you to know that the drone went down, like, it, like, and I had to say a bird attacked me. You'd have been like, never. Yeah, oh, right. Show me the footage. Um, so the cons <laughs> to this community are the, the birds. No, I'm joking. This, that's, that was cool, though. Very cool. Yeah, exactly. But uh, like you said, it's it's a quaint private community. Like I was just going to go to. We talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. This community, when you pull in off the major artery of 41, there is some not appealing businesses. They're just, it's like a junkyard and sure. a scrap metal thing. Right. You drive past it, you pop into this beautiful community. So it's like, I don't want people to be deterred or like, hey, where are you taking us right. when we go to this community? Yeah, I think that could always change in the future or maybe it will be established. But if we're not going to ever lie to our you know, no, 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 no. If me. anything, like we go over and beyond to make sure that you've exactly what he just said. Like we want to make sure because a lot of our clients, believe it or not, we meet a lot of you at the closing table. So we, we know how tough it could be to relocate, let's just say from like a Connecticut. Right. You got to sell a home over there. You got kids in school, but you got a great deal here. You have to close. Sometimes you have to do that stuff virtually and our job is to make sure that when you walk up to that home, you're like, yep, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be because they painted the picture perfect. They told me about that turtle that was crossing the road. They said this lady keeps her mailbox open. Those are the things. <laughs> you. Absolutely. And you, I couldn't have said it better, but we will never lie to you about what the breakdown of the community is, what's around the neighborhood, what the schools are like. We can only, we will give you as much information, but as you can see, when you pull into this neighborhood, it's like I've told you that it might look a little weird getting in, no. but it's a it's like a thirty second drive that you look go past this. it, and it, it's kind of that's why I said it was like it's one of the most beautiful communities we've worked in recently with all of the foliage that's going out around in the surrounding areas look at this of walking that's, trail. Look at the walking trail and look at the lake behind it. So it's like you know that there's not going to be like a brand new community built on top of you in this or, or businesses or this like this is what it is. And this is why people actually move to this Lando Lakes area. It's because the kind of slower paced, yeah. calm, natural lifestyle. On yeah, top especially of this little pocket. A-rated homes. schools. Jeez almighty. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that are available. There's hey, actually a bunch of signs who's on that gonna street Who's going to get this sold. lot? Who's going to get this lot? What a cool <laughs> lot, man. Look, you got no neighbors right here. You have the walking trail, yeah. which is kind of, yeah, maybe people will be walking. You know, you could probably put a fence up there, but then you have, well, you'll have somebody right across the street. But, man, that's still a cool, cool little lot right there. Yep. So this this builder in particular does spec homes, which are their inventory homes where they professionally design them and to be built lots. So you can see that there's already one that started. And a bunch of homes are actually sold on this street already, land, or the land sites are. So we yeah. can, um, but they're, they are available, and we can get you in there. If that's this is the gated community. Gated community. Oh, let's go. Let's go, people. Let's go, people. All right. Uh, anything else about <laughs> this community before we go into the home tour? Uh, I would just say that it has a, it's a great location amongst Tampa. Like you said, getting right, it's a, on a main artery going right down to South Tampa, so for job locations, it's it couldn't get better. It might even be better than Wesley Chapel being in the Lando Lakes area. You're five or ten minutes away from every restaurant or shopping that you can think of. So yep. it's not a it's it's a good location and the schools are great. And if you're not even looking for that, jobs galore, hospitals, businesses, banks, everything is in the area. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He said that there was like scrap metal places in front of the community this looks like this looks like estates you know four or five acres mm -hmm. of land here it doesn't look too bad i'm pretty sure down here somewhere you might have something going on but you know let's see if exactly it was coming in from the other direction but like i said it was something that i was like i i could deal with that living in this community because the price point over here is awesome as well yeah cool well everybody got to see that all right let's jump into this home tour here um what are the specs Ooh, on this model this is one of my favorite new build construction floor plans, the Easley Grand. It is awesome. It is up to, it can be five to six beds, three and a half to five and a half bathrooms. It's a three car garage. And it's can go up to 4,200 square feet plus. Let's do it, people. 
Let's do and it. I know you're a bi- I know you're a big pantry guy and a loft guy. Wait yeah. till you get there. Yeah, I, I I need to I need to a disclaimer. So I'm not a big pantry guy, but I have to make sure that you all can see the pantries because I know there's some sh- the chefs of the houses are out there somewhere watching this. So I'm looking out for you all. Okay. All right. These I am a front porch judging. guy though. <laughs> I exactly, and my girlfriend is as well. A front porch here, beautiful. Nice beautiful size front porch. They do Perfect. There. Where you know nice when I look at front porches, where do you drink the coffee and where do you put the packages? Bing bang. Amazon packages. You know that that's uh, something we can't run away from at this point oh, with no. our partners. <laughs> they come and find me. <laughs> that's it. So it's a very inviting entryway. It's grand. It's beautiful. They have a uh, high ceilings in here. I think they're they're nine feet on each on the ceilings and eight and eight and seven inches on the second floor uh the typical florida home where you know you have your bedroom and bathroom downstairs right i'm seeing one right now so let's see what let's see what what i find this one can go up to five and a half bathrooms so like just this is uh we're just tipping the iceberg right now cool so this is like a perfect little visitor suite got two windows in there But everything nice else looks oh. fairly standard. You know, got the slider doors. Fairly so standard what this room. builder kind of prides themselves on is using name brand finishes in the home. They're like, we use Moen sink fixtures. We use uh, GE appliances. Like they love to use name brand of everything in their home so that, it you know, you're getting high end or something that you're familiar with. At least. Yeah. Nice flex, nice flex space. It's it a great the, flex It has space. the double doors. I'm assuming that's probably an upgrade with them, but they're specking them, so they may throw them in there. So that is the room that can be the office or turned into another bedroom. You can flex that. That's where it's like they can choose how they design the home, or if they build one on their own, they might have it professionally designed for you and structurally designed for you, but that can be changed or altered. Now, I'm not a um, formal dining area guy, but I must say the, you know, where this is positioned in the home, I like it. And yes, I would put a nice table there. You know, I really would because it flows, but it's not like exposed to the kitchen, but it's not also tucked away in its own little den. This is, this is perfect. You, you hit the nail on the head there. It's perfectly positioned within the floor plan to be, something you could use or something you can just stage as something beautiful in your home. And then when you do have those three, one, two, three time of year events where you're entertaining, it's perfectly inviting to everything else. Bro. Hello. Open floor plan. Like look how big this sectional is. Obviously you could see the views, but like I love open space. I love natural light. Obviously like this color scheme, I love to death. I'm saying I love everything, but I have these floors in my home. I actually have the tile, um, but I, I love these. I love those floors. Just like you said, it's just the professional design of this home and the layout is amazing. You see how big of a couch you can get in there. You can sit 12, 15 people there That's and nice. entertain with also having the open living area of the kitchen the dining room, the beautiful ponds in the background, which there's a lot of those views in this neighborhood. Um, good size laundry room, really good size laundry room. Love how it's right there next to uh, the garage, so you can come in, dump your clothes there, yeah. and don't have to track it through the home. Yep, there's a very natural flow in this house between yeah. your living, entertaining, dining. Great bedroom. It's nice to have this bedroom downstairs with the ensuite. Now I know where my parents stay when they come, you know, obviously yeah. they, uh, once you move to Florida, just know this, if you're all out of state, which we do what 90% of our business out of state, once you move here, they come, Yeah, <laughs> they, Every, they will, comes. they will visit, they will visit. Yep. Oh yeah. They, uh, they'll visit for quite some time here. All right. So I'm looking <laughs> at a gas range. Yes, they do have natural gas in this community, which is awesome as well. Yeah. It is actually called a flat natural gas stove, which I think is awesome. It's a beautiful backsplash, vent hoods. They do the two-tone. You can see the two-tone islands again from yeah. white to brown on the island or the uh, cabinetry. 
and pantry, as you being a pantry guy, look, we got double doors this time, boy. Let's see, man. Hey, hey, we could fit the canned goods in this one. <laughs> Let's all go. right, look, they're all. They're already hurting the water. That's a, that's a, that's a, hey, hold on. Perfect. There we go. That is a, uh, we're going to give that a 4.8 stars because, because the double doors, that is, yeah. I mean, you can take like a, a wheelbarrow in there. That's, that's what it is, man. But this is, like I said, it's such a perfect layout. Yeah. It's got cabinetry in the island, tons of storage undermounted sinks great like i said the fixtures in the home are all name brand like you'll know everyone that they put what they put into the home built-in gourmet kitchen ovens it's genuine question for my people if you're watching this if you've made it this far thank you first of all hit the thumbs up button um <laughs> stainless steel or this custom wood um stove i just put one in my house like two weeks ago and now i'm like I, tongue tied on on what it is the range hood <laughs> sorry so, so you stainless so steel you or like custom? you like the kind of built-in feel of what i uh, i, I, I want it. stainless steel because it matched everything and that we have in the kitchen right now so but i'm asking people it looks great it looks really good and i even before we installed it i'm asking my wife i'm like do you think we should go like with like a custom cabinet range hood thing she's like no we've already committed so so what i've seen a lot of people do these days is they can uh they can vinyl wrap their fridge and you can do it in like a matte finish a matte black or a matte oh, yeah, yeah. green and that's kind of like if you do have stainless steel appliances you can wrap them for relatively at home cost and do it by yourself and it completely changes the look of your kitchen all right welcome to florida right you gotta have some sort of covered lanai you gotta have a screened in covered lanai so if you don't have and, and don't freak out. If we find you a covered lanai without a screen, just relax. We'll take care of you. Right? Look look at the size of the lanai, though. You can have a – this is where you live in Florida. You put your dining table out there. You eat dinner out there. You can have couches. You can put a TV out there. Like, I, I'm out here all day. 100%. Yeah. All right, so we're in love with the living space, no doubt about it. Yeah, exactly. It's open. It's inviting. It's mm -hmm. functional, which is most important. Is like how functional is the square footage in each home? You know a lot what of I like about come this. To... Sorry, go, man. Ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Finish None... what you were saying. Okay. Yeah, I say a lot of people come to us with a uh, square footage. Like we need this. We have this now. We need that. Homes, new construction homes in 2024 are built different. Your home might have 2,500 square feet, but th there's a lot of wasted square footage. This home doesn't leave a foot untouched it's perfectly laid out and that's where it comes down to i could show you a 2000 square foot home and you'd be like wow this is even better than what i have well it's 500 square feet less it's just laid out absolutely more for absolutely. your lifestyle so it's a new lifestyle down here in florida where they're building new homes there's a lot of states that don't have new construction you have to compete and go and buy old homes in florida there's just options and options galore and i appreciate builders that actually step outside of the box and they do those things right because a lot of builders they just use that standard floor plan you always see and they're just like it's so easy it's so easy but when a builder does something like this or even some of the other floor plans that we've shown people where they step outside of the box and they really utilize the space and they make it just creative and you know i i, I like that i appreciate that but i was gonna say that little dining area that we were talking about, it feels like an extended foyer. Like it, fe like that. I think that's what I like about it. It's like, you know, you walk in, you got your little key area, and then you walk in, and then it just kind of opens up more, and then you walk in, and then it opens up more. Beautiful. <laughs> you you couldn't have even said it better. I mean, I'll, I won't even touch on that. That was perfect. But this is one of my favorite owner suites in all of the homes that we show, in all, in all the of Florida that we show. Not all Florida, you know, there's always more, but at this price point, this is perfect for the owner suite. Look at the space you get in here. There's a little sitting area. You get to look out over the backyard where you have your pools or your ponds or your conservation, which is most of this community anyway. So that's where your views are gonna look like. But there's like, what, what is a better view to wake up to every morning when you're in Florida and there's sunshine and ponds and concert, like you said, conservation and this is it's an awesome layout of an owner's suite yeah oh man it, it, you know it's just it, it's the natural light and the colors that just get me man it's just making me feel warm and fuzzy inside 
That's exactly what it is. It's the natural light that comes in from these homes. And this is one of those pillars that we love also because we're both window people. We love windows, open spaces, the natural lighting. This Look at the windows in here, through your shower, in the transom window in the shower. Every room is bright in this home. Look at the shower, boy. Your toe knuckle Ooh, shaver. <laughs> <laughs> There's Corey's sitting Ever. area. <laughs> That's my total knuckle shaver. <laughs> oh my god! Water closet That's... beat you to it. <laughs> Water closet, there it is. Look at the closet, though. Come on, you know we. Sh- I, I think we've shown. I think we've shown this on the channel like not too long ago. They so we've shown a different uh, the same builder that has a different floor plan that they split the closet like this, but yeah. it's perfect. Like I said, everything is functional in this home. You and your <laughs> Your partner have no competition in this one. It's like you have your side, I have my side. They got the like the the floors are done in there. It's, yeah. it's perfect. No, it is. It, it, that, that's an awesome closet. That's a dream closet, I would assume. Except you know, for my wife, a dream closet would be all hers. She'd be like, the only issue with this closet is that you're in my closet. <laughs> exactly. I'd have the dresser right there in the bedroom, and that would be all hers. But the the size of the room, you can do the built-ins. You can add these little touches aftermarket to make it actually perfect or aesthetically appealing to what your lifestyle is. It's a big old home, man. This is a big home. Big old home. And you're going to love this upstairs, too. This is kind of the sweet spot of the easily grand. This is what you're, This is where the money is up here. Oh, I was going to so say, we got the lights. This is a big loft. It's a huge loft. Yeah, you, like got the, you got the tapered ceiling here, so that utilizing the space, right? Utilizing the space, whereas most builders would probably cut the wall off right here somehow. They just allowed that tapered ceiling to go down with the pitch of the roof, and you got extra space. So this is a floor plan that it has an option. You can do the easily, and you can take off the whole top floor. You do yeah, the right. easily grand, right. you get the loft in the bedroom, in the bathroom, in the media room. But this is one of the floor plans we were looking at for a client. He was like, this is what I need for my family. This is what I need for him. He has two little boys, and he's like, this is perfect. They have two bedrooms upstairs, a full bathroom for him, and a loft space. So he's looking for the future, and he said, I don't want to have, you know, when they're in high school and they have their friends over, I want them to be out and, you know, up and doing their own thing. I don't want them bothering me even though they're, what, two and four years old. <laughs> hey, he's already future. ready for them to get out of the house. <laughs> when he, you knows what it's like, he knows what it's like to be a young man, and when you start having friends over and stuff, it does get a little, you know, it gets congested in the home. But this home is laid out perfectly for you to have many children in your home and them to be entertained, and you want your kids. I think, personally, the best option is for you to entertain at home when you have kids. You bring them into your home, you know, having your kids go all these different places is, you know, I was one of those kids ripping and running. I didn't have this at home life that I would love to like my entertain at home. This home provides you that if you have children and you want everyone to come over, hang out, this is the home for you. This yeah, I'm like huge on family, right? Like, um, I mm-hmm. love when like my brother, my sister, my mom, like when people come and visit, and I can barbecue, and you know everybody can kind of run around, and there's always things to do. You know, it, it, to me, I love that. I absolutely love it, and that's why I buy a home, right? My home is like, okay, what am I going to do when people come over? Like, how is this going to work? And that's kind of how I buy. And we were just saying, we're like, when you come to Florida, everyone's going to come visit, yeah. so. What a better entertainment space than this home. On top of this home has uh, amenities in the community, pools, parks, walking trails. There's, Check this look out. Look at this oh. media room. Double loft space. The double loft space. It's a media Dude, room. Look, look at, at the... the space in the room. Oh, she. The, oh, so this it's is like, a, oh, you know what? My brother actually lives in Texas like two days ago. He just closed on a Pulte home. I wonder if this was the model because he got the media room. This is the media room, so I wonder if it's the ease of grand. They actually kind of changed their names recently on right. the floor plans, but a lot of them are the same exact floor plan. They just changed them. Mm, 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 mm. Space, space galore in this room. On top of the loft, like, just imagine your kids running around, hanging out up here while you're entertaining with the adults on the first level in the patio space, the lanai space. This home is built to entertain. 
What what's the most underrated part of of Pulte? The most underrated part? If you don't I know you're looking for. I know. I I think it's the interior upgrades, honestly. But you tell me what you think. You ready, people? It's their warranty. Ten two five one warranty, right? Ten structural, two plumbing, electrical, AC. The one which most builders do all of this is the craftsmanship. But then they throw in that five-year water intrusion warranty, which I must add, other builders are starting to do that too. Other builders are starting to do that too. And I noticed some other realtors on YouTube starting to mention that. Like, they, hey, this this Christian guy is giving out some good information out here, man. Let me start saying that. Did you know Pulte had a five-year water intrusion? Yeah, so they do. Now, I hope you don't have to use it. I've never had a client had to use that. But for my people that are coming to Florida and they're worried about hurricanes and rain and flooding and five-year water intrusion, any water coming in, they'll take care of you. You, you said it Hit. perfectly right there. We, uh, we, we know that some of these builders are kind of modeling the idea of that five-year water intrusion, which is important in Florida because mm -hmm. water is the most prominent force in water and wind they, it will find its way in especially when people are doing solar panels like you buy a new home and you put solar panels on your roof you're putting holes in a brand new home but you have some water intrusion warranty or a little bit of that flexibility from like you said anything this is a x zone so there is no flood insurance required which does cost a tremendous amount of money every year if you're living closer to the shore we're far enough away from that even though we are in lando lakes it's kind of uh, all you'll see in Wesley Chapel in Lutes in Land Lakes is just ponds and water. Yeah. You get those views everywhere you're when you're driving, just beautiful views, beautiful water everywhere. But we're far enough away from the coast that you're not required that flood insurance. However, this builder always gives you that one, two, five water intrusion, 10 year warranty, which a lot of people are like right there. That's enough. To, that's a selling point that they can yeah, move with Yeah, it gives with you that builder. assurance, right? You're just like, okay, cool. Perfect. Reassurance. And like I said, I hope you never use it, never seen anybody have to use it. But, you know, if you're one of those people that worry, like if you worried about snakes and you had snake insurance, you probably wouldn't worry anymore, right? Snakes and alligators, <laughs> right? <laughs> we hear about that all the time. What about the snakes exactly. and alligators? Exactly. We were working with a client recently. She's like, and I was telling her about the one, two, five, ten. She's like, oh, well, this other builder doesn't have the five. I'm like, that's just like protection you might not need it it's a brand new yeah. home that most likely that water intrusion you won't need it it's just there for reassurance absolutely absolutely um so in the past what we've been able to get with our clients with uh this builder is i mean we've done a lot right like we've negotiated some things um let's talk about some of the things that we have negotiated and why we've done it the way that we've done it right most people, when they come in and they want negotiations, right, and they're like, I heard you guys can negotiate well, right? The first thing they think of is price, right? Can we knock the price down $20,000? Can we knock it down $50,000, right? There's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's tough. It's, it, 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 it's tough to do because of this, right? The builder wants to maintain the value of the homes within the community. Could you imagine moving into a home, let's just say $500,000 home, and then the next day somebody else buys a home for four seventy five, so your value goes from five hundred to four seventy five like that? No. You're gonna be right up there at the build like what what's going on here, right? Like you guys, because you gave a deal to somebody, you caused my value to go down. So it's tough to break that. Has it been done before? Yes, but only in circumstances where the builder is like, I gotta get out of this community. I don't care what's gonna happen. Take the home very rarely does that happen. So I just want to let you all know. Now, things that we can negotiate are the things that the public can't see. Blinds, refrigerators, closing costs, extra money to buy down your interest rate. Those are things that they just see the $500,000 price point from the outside looking in, but behind the scenes, we're working on some other things for you, right? So just want you all to know that for those of you who have reached out to us about you know getting deals done, um, but I was just saying, our last client that closed with this home, what'd they get? Did they get the blinds and the refrigerator? Everything. They got Everything. epoxy drive. They got the epoxy uh, garage. They got the fridge, blind, all their appliances, the blinds package. Uh, you know, that saves you a few thousand dollars out of pocket when you're moving. 
But just like you said, it's not always the price point of the home. You can drop the home $25,000 in price point. That might save you like 15, 20 bucks on your mortgage. It's yeah. fixed over 30 years and 360 payments. Unless so it's that's, cash. Unless it's cash. Unless it's cash. Exactly. Yeah. Correct. But, you know, most majority of people that are buying homes in you know the states are paying with a mortgage. So yeah. we, we like to find the best use or the best negotiation tactics to find get our clients the best mortgage. What's, what's going to be the most important thing to you? Number one, your down payment, which you're coming out of pocket into the home. And then number two is going to be your mortgage payment, the one you're attacking every single month. Yeah. That's the most important number to majority of our clients, what yeah. your mortgage payment is going to be. So we're going to go to bat on what, what can they buy down the rate to? How long? Or is it an arm rate, an uh, adjustable mortgage, or is yeah. it a 30-year fix? And these builders, they offer the, the arm adjustable rate mortgage, and they offer the 30-year fix. But that mortgage payment is going to be the most important thing to you. Yep. And, and, you know, there's a good chance that we can get you 20, 25,000, maybe even $30,000 in flexible cash, right? That you can utilize to cover all your closing costs or buy your rate down, et cetera. But we'll leave that to be desired. All of our information is above. You can text us, call us, email us, whatever works. If you made it this far, I feel like, I feel like the value that we add throughout the video, like it's better as the video goes on, right? Like we're towards the end now. And for those of you who stuck around, congrats, you got some good value. Um, you know, hopefully you all are subscribed. You're not one of the people that are just watching just because it's popping up on YouTube. Make sure you're subbed. Exactly. And just like you said, our most recent clients, they, you know, they, they have, uh, they're well qualified to do, to buy it, purchase a home here in Tampa. But the breakdown of the numbers in these communities, the HOA, CDD fees, the taxes, what the interest rate they're offering or how much they can offer an incentive to buy that interest rate down. It's like we have to look at everything before we purchase the home. And we want to make sure that we check every box and also not eliminate options yeah. because, this, you know, this bill, like, let's not look there because they have CDD, like you said. No, let's see how the numbers in that CDD and the HOA together break down. And Somebody's going to interest rate you up they're offering. you said that more than once. I'm I joking. did. I did. I'm but I, I know I, I, I think it, I think it's super impo I think it's it important, is. It, it, honestly. It's very important. It is very important. Like our job, like we we are not the emotional thinkers at all. We understand like buying a home is like finding the husband. It's like finding the wife. There's emotion involved in it. Right. And what we do is we're just like, OK, cool. We want you to be the emotional thinkers. But at the same time, let me pull back a little bit. Let me give you a little bit of logic. Let me ha allow you to think about it. And then we're not trying to push you on anything, but we want to make sure that you've seen it all. It's like car shopping. It's like car shopping. My wife bought a car, right? She bought the first car she sat down in, right? And what am I doing? I'm over here like, babe, look, 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 look. I get it. We're going to get this car, but <laughs> check this one out real quick. Check the other one out real quick, you know, and that's all we do. That, that, that's it. We want to make sure that we check all the boxes for you. Like you said, location, people, they put a name on or what they hear from other people. We love this area, this area. Let's explore the areas. Let's see what's important to you and your family, how it works for your lifestyle. And then again, how the numbers break down. You know, that's usually where the final decision comes into place is if the numbers work, then it will work because we can all love every home under the sun. Oh, it's we it's see. been total opposite before. It's been falling in love with the home <laughs> and then the numbers don't work. You're just like, crap. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, I want to make sure, we want to make sure that your numbers also work for you, but we can have the leverage to kind of pull the strings on some of these builders and make sure that the numbers will work for you. Yeah, 100%. Well said. I guess we'll finish off there. Um, we'll make sure that Corey's on. Corey, you're gonna, are you going to have another uh, segment on the show here <clears throat> that's not just a community breakdown? I am, and I want to also talk before we go. They did have uh, the feds met the other day. Interest rates are coming down right now, but they did indicate that they will come down maybe three times this year. They may drop the rates. Mm -hmm. They are talking towards September kind of time frame, towards end of year. However, things are just going to get more. Like, don't wait to buy a home when rates drop. They're just going to be – it's going to be way more competitive. The incentive that they give to you is going to be way less. This is like that little unique – time that you can get the lowest price home you get interest rate buy downs and there's little competition 
this is the time to buy before that starts happening. Oddly enough, right? Like it's it's very weird to say. Oddly enough, but I know it. He knows it. I mean, you know, we're we're on a team, and we we always talk about these things. But um, yeah, o- oddly enough, like the the incentives are going to go away when the rates come down. The prices are going to go up when the rates come down. We have already seen a huge influx of people that have reached out to mm-hmm. us just as the year is progressing right now. So like when the rates come down, mm-hmm. we expect it to just go nuts. And so, um, but on that same token here, like, you know, do what's best for you. We're going to be here. I hope you're still watching the show here. We're going to be, we'll, we'll always help you out. Like even if you do pop up when the rates come down, we're going to do our best job for you. But uh, if you're looking for that sweet spot, everybody's a little nervous. That's the sweet spot. That's now. That's when people are nervous. Like when people are like, I don't know. That's when you strike, right? Remember COVID? Everybody's nervous. Like that's when you strike. Yes. Always good opportunities. And people ask us all the time, like, when is the right time to purchase? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. True. That that like you should like the time you got the time in the market is more important than timing the market. You have to get into a home and start paying down your principal on your mortgage on your note to make sure that you're in the best position for you and your family. But there's never a appropriate time or it's you can't gauge the market and where it's going to go. Like you said, when do we if 2025 they're like, oh, it's by next summer. And then other COVID hits and the world shuts down. It's like, yeah, you should be. Looking and what's at better than in, having in, home in, ownership? You should be looking at it in ten year increments, right? Like if you're asking about like when should I buy? Well, let's look at things in ten year increments. Like like you, exactly like you said, it's time in the market, people. So you know if you're somebody that's looking to time it, like good luck to you. But if you're somebody that needs to make the move, there's never ever ever a better time than now. Even before 2008, right? Like, if you let's just say you lost money 2008, 2008, the market crashed, right? Like, let's just say time in the market, you've, I mean, look where you're at now with that same property. So, like, you know, pay attention. I just posted something today that showed the appreciation of a home. If you buy a home today in 2024 at $400,000, over a five year period, your home will be worth $485,000 just if by you bought it at what price? appreciating. Four hundred thousand dollars, and you and you bought it at four hundred thousand dollars, and over a five year period would be what now? You're talking about appreciating almost fifteen thousand dollars a year, so four hundred and eighty five thousand. Yep, yep. And that's kind of the market that we're in here in Florida. So there's never a bad time to buy. Having when when is a bad time to own something? Never. You always want to have ownership over your property, or else you're paying a hundred percent interest rate to borrow. You own it. your drone. Uh, technically, <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm not going to, he kind of does. I'm not going to say I own it, but he kind of does. I don't know. You use it, right? You got as... birds attacking it. So hey, that's my what I'm saying. When it go, when it goes down, I want you to know that. And I say a bird attack me, you're going to be like, never. Hey, it's right there on camera. Everybody it's it's his too. drone now until, until it goes down. He's like, Hey, your drones over there somewhere. <laughs> Christian, uh, your drones in the lake, you know, a bird attack. Could you imagine? Okay. Um, all right, man, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, I appreciate you cool. for coming on. I appreciate everybody of for course. watching. You know, Make sure you please, please, please hit the thumbs up button for us. Make sure you subscribe. Share this with somebody that you think's considering moving to Florida and let us know what are some other areas that you want to see. We appreciate you all in the comments. You got anything else? That's it, man. I'm ready for uh, next week's videos. I'm looking at uh, great opportunities for first-time home buyers, town cool. homes. That That is a great option. If you're renting... Rents keep increasing. Rental market is hard as it's ever going to be. Townhome is a great option that's low affordability, similar to your rent payment. It's going to be your mortgage payment, but you have ownership and a little bit more space. I think that's going to be super valuable for a lot of the people that we're working with. Low maintenance too. Did you already say that? Low maintenance. No, I did not. But very, like you said, low maintenance on the exterior. They cut your grass. Hey, let's not spoil the next episode. (laughs) Yep, yep. Okay, okay. We're probably pretty much going to turn it into. Welcome back to the next episode, people. No. All right. We'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. All right.